The Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 comes in two different variations and four different sizes. So we've already done the active model size comparison and today we will focus on the 43 and 47 millimeter classic version. And right here you will find even bigger differences than what we had with the active versions. So I got both these watches here today to show you how they look like on my wrist and off my wrist and we will check out the differences to help you decide which size is the best for you. To start, let's compare the prices of these different sizes. The 43mm version comes in at a price of 419 euros over here in Germany, whereas the 47mm one comes in at just 450. So it's actually not such a big price gap between them two. By the way, I will leave all of the purchasing links down below in the description. So first, let's look at each watch and how they look off of my wrist, then we will compare and talk about the major differences and at the end I will give you my final thoughts on which one is the best for you. So right here I have the two different sizes in my hand and the difference is pretty obvious. The 43mm and the 47mm version may have the same height but that's the only thing that they have in common. All the other specs are different. The 43mm version is smaller and shorter and you do notice the size difference when you wear it. It's really hard to cover up the 47mm under my sleeve, under my jacket and it's too big to sleep comfortably. The smaller one is still not small in particular but it's way more comfortable to wear. Now even though you have a size difference, all of the specs the buttons and the buckles, they are all the same size. In terms of weight, the smaller 43mm version comes in at the weight of 52 grams and the bigger one comes in at 59 grams. It's really a small difference and you really won't notice this, this one at all. Next, let's have a chat about the straps. I think if you take a look at the straps from the top, you see pretty fast that even though both are 20mm wide, one is definitely longer than the other one. The difference is about one finger wide on the longer end and only a few millimeters on the shorter end. Right here you really have to look close to see the difference. By the way, the active models also have a 20 millimeter strap. So if you have for some reason more than just one Galaxy watch, you can swap the bands anytime you want to. As for the colors, both watches are only available in two colors. You can get these black versions or you can go with the silver one and that's it. So let's talk about the size of each watch. So I have a 19 centimeter wrist, which is about seven and a half inches. Now, if you look at the 47 millimeter on my wrist, you see that it pretty much fills my whole wrist. I would actually say that this one, one is a little bit too big for my wrist, but it always comes down to your personal preference. The smaller 43 millimeter version fits much better. You do have some space on the top and the lower end of the watch, so you can still see my wrist. So earlier we talked about the weight and on the wrist you don't really feel a difference, but what you do feel is the difference in size. It's much easier to slide the smaller watch under my sleeve and during your workouts it's more comfortable to wear as well. The 47mm version is very bulky and I wouldn't really recommend this one as a workout smartwatch even though these watches are pretty good in tracking the route with their built-in GPS. Before we get to the biggest difference which are the screens and how much you actually see on them, just right quick a few specs. This one is a 43mm version and it's actually 42x5, 42x5 and 10.9mm smartwatch whereas the bigger one is 46.5x46.5 and that means that you also get a bigger display. It's 1.5 inches compared to 1.3 inches. Now I've got a couple of comments in my other size comparison videos and a common question was the lock to lock size since you won't find this stat anywhere. So I got my magical measuring tape which is definitely 100% accurate and the lock to lock size of the 43mm Galaxy Watch 6 is 54mm and the smaller one comes in at 50mm. So as I said in the beginning, on the bigger one you get so much more information which is not normal. For example, the Garmin 265 and 265S pretty much give you the same amount of information, just a little bit smaller, but that's not the case right here. So let's start with some of our apps. On the Google App Store you basically see three whole apps and the beginning of the fourth one on the bigger version, whereas on the smaller one the third one is already cut off a little bit. Also if you want to type something in a searching bar there is one extra bracket for the productivity apps that you only see on the 47mm version. As for some other common apps like Google Maps, you see more on the map at once and once again have 
more to select on the first display. Two more pretty common apps are Spotify and WhatsApp. Same thing, on Spotify you definitely see way more at first sight, like basically one extra playlist and a lot more if you go to the single tracks. It can get a little bit hard on the 43mm version to hit the four songs all the way at the bottom. WhatsApp is the same, a little bit more on the main screen with all of your group chats and contacts and you see a few more of your messages in the different chats. In the weather app you only see a little bit more but you barely notice the difference and in your contacts book of your phone feature you see one whole more contact. The spot points on both watches are actually the same, your daily activity stats and all of your health metrics. The letters and icons are just a little bit smaller on the 43mm version. As well as your settings, right here you basically see always more in the different settings like your notification settings, sounds and vibrations, advanced features and so on. Now at the end of the day, which size should you go for? You have to keep in mind that both watches come with the exact same features and you are not missing out on anything if you get the smaller or the larger version of the Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. If your wrist is close to 6 to 8 inches, I would definitely go with the 43mm Galaxy Watch as this one just looks better on a bigger wrist and if your wrist is even bigger, I would suggest going with the 47mm version of the Galaxy Watch 6. Now I hope this video was helpful today, if it was make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, it would really help me out a lot and I guess with that one being said, I will see you in the next one. Peace.